Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here today and welcome. Today's video is going to be my ice cream beauty box and I'm going to do it as a try on style. And so I've already got all my prep work done and I'm ready to go in with foundation. I'm going to use this one here by Yoma Beauty. This is in the shade Fair Lady T1C. And I got a couple of pumps here on my back of my hand and I'm just going to go right in. Now, if you're ordering this foundation, make sure that you go cooler than what you normally do because these do run yellow and they do oxidize, which is not a bad thing. It's a really good foundation, good uh, full coverage or medium, I should say medium to full coverage, but it's a matte finish and it blends like a dream so anyway I like it because it does help take down some of the redness in my skin and I did use retinol so my skin's a little on the extra pink side today so I'm wearing pink to kind of offset that okay I'm gonna tap this in blend it all out and I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back and we're gonna get into this box all right y'all I'm back and I put on concealer powder blush bronzer eyebrows and all that stuff and I didn't get any of those products in my box but we are going to try on these products that I did receive so I've got this wonderful eyeshadow palette which is so aesthetically pleasing to the eye it's from Oaklawn it's called Ethereal and let me move this color saver out of the way and look at all these pretty shades this reminds me of the Huda Beauty palette in a way got some marbled shades here and of course when you mix those together they're gonna create you know a mixture they're going to create a shade that's a mixture so this is um, valued at $19 so I do want to do a look with this so we're going to get into that in just a second and then we have from Delancey we have a multi chrome eyeshadow palette it's a quad and this is valued at $25 and it's got some really pretty like pinks and purples and the the palette itself pops out like that so this case right here could hold probably you know different ones they probably they might have different ones on their site but anyway aren't those pretty so this has got more of a cool tone white and this has got some like pink in it see there you go you can see the flips now so you've got like a cool side these two are cool and these two are warm super fun super fun all right so we have that $25 duo chromes or multi chromes and then we have a highlighter from Queen called ice cream and this comes packaged like that it's a um, like a balm kind of a stick really pretty so let me just put some on my finger here and swatch it let's swatch it so just a really light kind of a sheen and that is and it's retractable too and let's see this is valued at eighteen dollars let me get rid of some of this outer packaging gotta throw some boxes away and then we have 
from Chantico, the Duochrome Liquid Eyeshadows. I'm so excited to see more from this brand in this month's box. So, look at that. Woo! That is so pretty. So we have that one. It's in the shade. It doesn't say a name. It just says number 2123Y. Hmm. And then we have another one, which is more of a icier kind of a pink. That other one had like some orange in it. And this one is 2734Y. So anyway, this is how they came packaged. So I'm going to get rid of the boxes. And then, last but not least, let's see, did I tell you the price on those? Yeah, the duochrome eyeshadows from Chantico are $38 together. And then from Ofra and the Hot Mess Mama MD collaboration, there is a liquid lipstick that Rhonda did with Ofra. And I'm excited about this. The name of it's Hot Mess Mama. So, woohoo! Okay, real pretty nude there. So, let's get into this look. Let's use the highlighter first. I'm going to try this on the cheeks. And let me use my highlighter brush. I've got this one here from Farah that I use all the time so I'm just gonna put the I'm just gonna pick up some of the product from the stick onto the brush and see if that'll work if not I hate to rub this straight onto my skin because I don't want to disturb everything else that I have on under you know already on my skin but this looks so subtle with the brush. Let's try the finger. Put it on my finger. And just tap it on. This is one of those like lit from within highlighters. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So it, it gives your skin like a glow, but it's not like a blinding highlight. There, you can see it better on this side. Okay, we may come back to this and use this some more. Anyway, let's get into this palette. So, lots of pretty shades. I'm not really a fan of Oaklawn too much, but we're going to give it a whirl. We're going to give it a whirl. So let me find a brush here, and we're going to go in with a... Uh, let me do an eyeshadow primer really quick. I'm going to use this one from the Beauty Crop. It's called Stuck On You. And the Beauty Crop has nice stuff, y'all. They're very affordable. But they have really nice products. So I want to make sure and get that inner corner. Because we're definitely going to put something there. We got to have some. We got to have something in the inner corner. I did my brows a little bit darker. Uh, than what I have been today. And I did set them with some gel. And uh, I was going through my pictures and I realized that my I've been doing my eyebrows lighter than what I used to. But they definitely look like sisters today. They are not identical. But anywho, that is life, right? I am so glad this has a mirror. 
Okay, let's see what we can get going here. I'm gonna go in with a, um, just a really neutral transition color right up here. These are not named, by the way, which that doesn't bother me. Anyway, lots of pretty shades to start with in this palette. Looks like there's probably one, two, three, four, four, five, six mattes. And that doesn't count the um, marbled shades, which I think a couple of them are shimmers anyway. Alright, so I'm just going to blend this into my crease. Get a nice warm base going here. We're just testing these out. There's a rosiness to this, to these browns, and uh, I like that. We might wind up with like a rosy kind of a look before this is over with. Okay, I don't want to over blend that. All right, now with uh, a smaller brush, I'm going to go in with this one here from LaRousse Butte. Let me make sure this brush has been wiped off. I'm going to wipe it off on my makeup towel here. I think I used a uh, like a dark gray or something last time I used it. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. All right, let's see here. Let's let's go into this swirly shade right here. That looks kind of fun. It's like a brown and a caramel. It's a. It feels creamy. Let's see what happens. It's definitely a matte, but it's, there's a creaminess to it when you touch it with your finger. So we're just deepening up that crease. I'm trying to hold my head up. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, now let's see here. I need a shimmer of some sort. Let me grab this flat brush here. Let me try this. Let me try this really pretty pink right there. And we'll see what happens. got like some brown flecks in it. And I'm just going in on like the inner half of the lid. Let me try it with the finger. Yeah, that does better with the finger. That's 
a little bit better of a pop. All right, let me just do the same thing over here on this side. I'll go in with the brush first and then I'll apply another layer with the finger. <clears throat> I think brown and pink goes really good together. So I like I like the color story in this palette. And if I didn't I didn't like the way that it looked I probably would have passed this one on because I'm not really a fan of Oakland Oakland or however you say it I think it's Oakland anyway I really don't like the way this is applying I like the pink it's the it's supposed to be a duochrome but anyway the brown that's in it is lacking it's like it's not really I don't know blending out or something okay I'm gonna quit really aching <laughs> let me go in underneath the lash line let me take a flat brush here this is from Alamar Cosmetics, and let me try, let me try this swirly one down here. It's got some dark brown and some really pretty rose gold sparkles. Let's see what happens. I like it. I like it. I like the way it's coming off. Let's use some on this upper part of the lash line and let's create like an inverted wing with this, what we're laying down here on the bottom. There's a, a like a burgundy kind of a pinkish red, reddish brownish burgundy kind of that's pretty I like this one okay now this side I like this kind of a brush for creating a good sharp line on the wing. You know, an eyeshadow kind of a wing, you know. Make sure they match. <laughs> I really like that. Okay. Let me go back into that LaRousse Butte shade. And I think I lost some of that brown right through here. Or I just need to build it up just a little bit more. There's like this little patch on my eye right there that just I have a hard time getting the eyeshadow to cling to for some reason. Anyway, I was just wanting to make sure those looked kind of even. 
sometimes I get in too big a hurry. Okay, and then I'm going to take that fluffy brush that I started with, and I'm just going to go back into that transition shade, and we're just going to just blend everything out up here at the top of my of those shades. And just go around all of those pretty browns, just to kind of bring a rosiness to the uh, brow bone area. It's such a pretty shade. I really like this transition color. Okay. All right, so that was easy enough to work with. Let's see what we can do here with some of this other stuff. Let me swatch a couple of these ones from Delancey. <clears throat> this is a really warm look, so let me use this, this warm icy one here and see what this swatch is like. Ooh, there's still a lot of blue in it. Okay, let me swatch the, both of these. These are fun, y'all. to examine them okay I'm gonna I'm gonna use this one this has a little bit more yellow in it and I think it'll blend better with all right let me grab a smaller flat brush it's kind of like a bit of gold in it uh, you don't really see gold you just see it looks icy And I'm going to use this as an inner corner highlight today. Ooh, you look at that. Ooh, I think I got enough on my brush for both eyes. That is pretty. Okay, I'm going to carry that down and around the tear duct. Everything I've tried from Chantico is just awesome. And the only box that's ever really sent anything to me from Chantico is this ice cream beauty box. That is awesome. I think I got too much right there. Let me... Blend that out just a little bit. Wow, these are stunning. They are stunning. I just dipped my brush into that one time, and that's the payoff I got. That's so nice. Wow, I can't wait to get back into that. Okay, now let's see what we can do here with these liquid eyeshadows because what I have on my lid is not really satisfying me. Let's swatch these and then see which one we want. Okay, this is the the lighter one. Right there, see it? It's like a pink, like an icy kind of a pink. And then this other one that's got like some like orange in it. Coppery kind of shimmer shades. 
and a hot, hotter type pink. And I think that's the one I want to use. All right, so let me fasten that back. And I'm just going to pop a little right here on the center of the eyelid. And I'm just going to bring like a spotlight. That's awesome. That's awesome. Woo. That's so nice. And they dry down pretty quick too. Okay. All right, so that is the basic eye look. I have to put on some mascara and then we'll come back and do lips. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I put on some purple mascara from Rasha B Cosmetics. I just thought that would go so well with this look, and I skipped the false lashes for today. And now I'm ready to do a lip look. So I'm going to use a lip liner from Jante Blue. This is in the shade um, Beige, 931 Beige. I haven't used this in a while. And it's cool tone. And I really don't want the lip liner to darken the lipstick. So that's why I chose this today. Because it's so nude. But yet it'll help contain the lipstick and define the lips and keep it from bleeding. And for the lipstick to last longer. Okay, so it's, it's like a really light, mauve kind of nude. Let's see there on the end of it. I probably wouldn't use a liquid lipstick that color, but I do like it as a lip liner. Okay, let's try some of this hot mess. Mama! Oprah's liquid lipsticks are moussey. I got a clump here on the end of the doe foot. Let me get that off. Because that's too much lipstick. This is a really pretty... <clears throat> it's like a mauve nude pink. And a very moussey kind of... formula. The doe foot makes it really easy to apply. Really nice. Rhonda did good with this. Rhonda and Ofra. Anyway, I'm looking forward to using that some more. Let me just put the lip liner in the box with it because that made a really nice duo. So anyway, I got a really bright under eye today. I used uh, the By Terry Under Eye Setting Powder with the um, Yensa BC Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Cool. And so that just really brightened up the under eye. And the blush and bronzer that I used today were from complex culture this duo here that i really enjoy it's called uh, power player and pink slip 
Overtime Contour and Blush Palette. So that went right along with the eyeshadows. And that highlighter is probably, it's good and creamy. It'd be really nice for those days where I'm not wearing any powders. But, I mean, it's just a really nice lit from within glow. So really nice, really nice look. I'm pleased with the, I didn't feel the need for false eyelashes. I love that shade that's underneath the eyes from the palette. And um, anyway, this is such a great box, you guys. If you're interested in this box, I have a link down below. It's $25 a month. And this month, the all the products total Let's see, 20 and 18, that's 38. 38 and 38 is 76, 86, 95, 100, $120 for $25. So, and they feature indie brands and you get a palette in every box and it's just so much fun to play with. So anyway, I did try all the products today and I'm really, you know, happy to keep them all. So anyway, there's my look. There's my look. My lookity lookity look. And that's it for me today. All right, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think about the look, what you think about the products. Do you get this box? Do you like this box? What was your favorite product this month? Give me a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't subscribed i hope that you'll stay and do that and click that notification bell so that you can receive the notification for all my future uploads because i do lots of great stuff here on my channel this is a beauty channel collabs giveaways um, skin care sunday night skin treats makeup looks you name it i just i do it reviews unboxings <laughs> everything related to beauty all right y'all that's it i love you all so much thank you again for watching i appreciate your support and god bless you today is my prayer i'll see you in my next video bye